Have you got older appliances like lamps or a coffee maker, maybe a heater or a fan that you wish had smart connectivity or voice control? There is a way you can make older or dumb appliances smart, and that's by using a smart wall plug. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and first off, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to the channel. A smart plug lets you plug in almost any appliance and gain remote app control or voice control over whatever's plugged into it. Amazon makes an Alexa-ready smart plug that could be a solution for Alexa smart homes. In this video, I'll tell you all about Amazon's smart plug here, what you can use it for, what it works well for, and what it doesn't. And if you stick around, we'll also get to price and whether I think it's a good buy for your smart home. An early heads up if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please mash that like button and consider subscribing because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. While there are a lot of smart plugs on the market, many of them are sold by companies you've possibly never heard of, and it's tricky to know which plugs will be a good value and which ones will fit into your home automation system without problems. Some plugs and devices say they're compatible with Alexa or Google Assistant, but then it's a hassle to actually Alexa. make it work. An Amazon Smart, smart Plug, Amazon however, Space guarantees smart. it's going to work with your Amazon Echo and Alexa-ready smart devices or smart speakers, for example. The Amazon Smart Plug is compact and built to fit a standard wall plug while still leaving room to make the other outlet usable. There's a button on the side of the plug used to turn the plug on or off if you don't want to connect using the Alexa app. You won't need a hub of any kind, and with both products being from Amazon, there's no extra step or app in the middle to confuse things. Take care of setup and suddenly you're connected to Alexa. To get set up, it couldn't be easier. Just plug the Amazon Smart Plug into an AC outlet and open your Alexa app. You might even get a push notification on your phone from the Alexa app letting you know it's seen the Smart Plug before you even have a chance to go to the app. The app will recognize the plug right away and add it to your device list as mine did. If not, you can add it the usual way by tapping the devices icon in the lower right of the screen, then tapping on the plus to start the connection. After that, you can immediately say, hey, a lady, turn on first plug, since that'll be the default name given to the first plug you set up. One quick caveat with the Amazon Smart Plug here, it is made for indoor use only. So what can a smart plug do? Once Alexa recognizes the device, you can add it to routines or create new ones specifically around this plug. You'll be able to use voice commands via Alexa. an Amazon Echo device or the Alexa the app on your phone to turn the plug on or off. Combining the plug here with other smart home devices could be a bright idea, allowing you to activate a home security routine, for example, where you could add a motion detector that would then turn on the smart switch to activate a light. Alexa will also allow you to create time-based routines so that the plug could turn on at 7 in the morning, for example, to activate your coffee maker, or turn on a light source in the room at dusk. You could use it to turn on holiday lights or tie into a motion sensor and have it turn on a light in your okay, garage or the basement when you walk down the stairs. Of course, you can just call out to a lady and ask her to turn things on as well. You might also connect the plug to something like a fan or a heater and have a lady turn the switch on when a certain temperature is reached in your house. There's really a lot of possibilities and I'd actually really be interested in hearing your uses and how you've got one of these working for you if you've got one. So please go ahead and post that in comments below. One caveat here, this plug will not work on devices that themselves need to be switched on manually. Some coffee makers, for example, don't just turn on when the power is flicked on at the plug. That's a safety feature. So with this, you'll need to ensure that whatever appliance you want to connect will basically or can be left on, I guess, and can work without any other input from you or switching required. Overall, this is a really convenient solution for adding smart control to non-smart appliances and devices. The plug is small, it only takes up one outlet, and it's really easy to set up and to use. And at about $35 Canadian or about $25 US, it's probably a lot cheaper than buying something like a smart light bulb or replacing your existing lamps and appliances. If you want to read this article or reference any of what I've talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have about this smart plug also, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel.
If you liked this video and found it helpful, please mash that like button and subscribe since it helps me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada. This is a really convenient to...